Hey y'all, it's Jan. Do you love 80s romantic comedies? The camp, the cheese, the feel-good moments, the demonic serial killers? Well, if so, I've got something right up your alley. This movie was suggested by viewer Lena Garg. Released in 1987 by New Line Cinema, My Demon Lover is all that and more. Just the kind you'll find on Let's Review This Crap. Your home for movie reviews of the cheesy, campy, and downright cartoony. Speaking of cartoony, this movie starts with an animated devil. Yippee! Denny, our heroine, comes home to find her now ex-boyfriend cleaning out her apartment. Aw, oh, and on her birthday, too. It's my fault. He kept saying, no party. It's just a stupid birthday. It's not important. But I wouldn't listen. Jeez. He trashes your apartment. He steals your underwear just because you want to throw a party on his birthday? No. It's my birthday. Ah. Oh. Now let's meet our hero, a busker with poor hygiene. He sees a pretty girl and gets fangs and crazy eyes. Well, okay then. I'm kind of intrigued. Then a pretty gal waiting for a train gets killed. Our heroine goes with her friend to her import shop while she changes. And, oh my, what's that behind you? A demon slaying dagger? You don't say. Our heroine's friend tries to cheer her up with life advice. You are attracted to scum. Unfortunately, a dweeb butts into their night. Definitely the clumsiest guy in there. But she's too nice and feels sorry for him. I'd like to do that because I think you're a very nice person. Um, bye. Goodbye, Charles. Our hero then meets a guy named Fixer, a street hawker selling elixirs. Who tells him he's bad luck and tells him to get lost. Our heroine is walking home and is that Freddy Krueger? At the police station, reporters are hounding the chief for answers and another woman was attacked by the mangler. While out having lunch, Hero meets heroin. He takes her food, spits it on her. Bingo! I know I'm obnoxious. At least he's aware. He pretends to be in pain. Oh, What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Are you sick? Uh, uh, I think maybe you should see a doctor. Can you stand up? Uh, if you help me, uh, maybe you should put your arms around me. Okay. Lower. Tighter. <laughs> he's about to get himself on the predator list. When he runs away from her, deep voice, demon face and all. Her ex comes to get her. She tries to run, but her ex knocks her out. Here comes our hero to save the day. He's all demony and chases off her ex. She wakes up in the apartment and our hero is there but now regular looking. He asks to sleep on the couch. It starts to rain, so she feels bad and lets him. He sees her in a nighty. The 
Radio gives us the update that another woman is victim to the mangler. Last night, the unknown assailant attacked 31-year-old Miguel Valdez outside Grigri, her Greenwich Village shop. In the morning, he warns her, telling her about his problem. Look, Benny, it's sex. I can't do it, think about it, or even look at it. So, she invites him to stay longer. And just be friends. Look, I got a good idea. Why don't you stay a little longer and we can sleep on the couch? Uh, we'll just be friends. No, no kissing, no holding, no touching. Kidding? Ah, classic 80s friendship montage time. The heroine's friend's sister was attacked by the mangler. It gives the cops a description of her attacker. Our hero finds Fixer again and asks him for help. Last time you said there was something that you might be able to do. Maybe. You didn't go and fall in love. Oh, man. Well, let's first see how you got this curse. He reads his past and sees how he's cursed. Hi, baby. Baby. Baby, she's Galusko. Hi. Ever kiss a girl before? How exactly? Well, have you or haven't you? I said not exactly. Has? Mmm. Oh, this is great. She was talking Romanian. Romanian? He tells me he's cursed from sex. Right there. That's where the devil went in. If it's horny you feel, you get horny for real. You can't get down with no female when you got a mouth full of razors and a pointed tail. She's done laid a case of Romanian blue balls on you, boy. <laughs> gotta do something noble to cure that oh, curse. Get rid of this curse. You gotta do something noble. Then you scare the devil right out of you. But then, the curse is gonna get passed to the next person closest to him. When the devil leaps out of you, it grabs a hold of the person in your life closest to you. Doesn't sound like a very good deal to me. Our heroine comes home early from work to find that he has decorated the apartment for her birthday. And he got her TV back. It's my television. Where did you get it? Uh, I got a couple of friends on the street. They showed me where to find good old Chip. She wants to show her appreciation. Danny, no. Danny, no. Oh. Ew, disappearing ear. And has to run into the shower. He tells her about the curse, but she doesn't believe him. It's like being possessed by the devil, only worse. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sick. Some people get fever blisters when they're sick. I get a long tail and lizard skin. Just stop it. Why do you find it so hard to believe? If this was the Middle Ages, you would just say, oh, and then we talk about the ball scores. You're sick. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. So he tells her to kiss him to prove he's not lying. Kiss me. Come on. Kiss me. There. They start to get busy. Bingo! <laughs> and then he turns into a bald, fat demon. Plus, he's got powers? Think I'm doing this to impress Steven Spielberg? The dork calls her up again for a date, but she tells him to buzz off. So how's about that dinner, huh? Not tonight, Charles. Why not? Because I am having a heart attack! The heroine's BFF tells her cop boyfriend that the mangler is the devil, but he doesn't believe her. He's the devil, Phil. He looks just like anybody else. Our heroine tells the hero she wants to make their relationship work. We can work it out. I know we can. I'm a Pazatsky. Big deal. I think I'm the mangler. 
but he says he thinks he's the mangler, but she tells him he's wrong. You're not the mangler. This nerd just keeps trying to hit on women in the worst way. Yo, Jackie, come on, come on, come on, sit down. He'll prove to you. You come home with me tonight, you change and you don't run away this time. Our heroine tells the hero to stay the night and turn into a demon but not run off to prove to him that he is not the mangler. Ah, uh, excuse me. Sonia, could I uh, buy you a drink? Heroine's BFF goes to the store and gets the demon killing dagger. She thinks the hero is the mangler. Sword of Asmodeus Demon Slayer. What's that? After just kissing, he turns full demon. And apparently his powers make it like poltergeist in that apartment. What in the world? He crashed into a brick wall. Then turns into a previous date she had. You got any more Fritos? Then some woman belittling her? I, I don't understand this. You're gonna get married? You're too good, is that it? Yeah, yeah. you don't know what I'm going to do. It's too good for anyone. You're driving me crazy! Then she smacked that woman's head and collapsed into a mustard peanut butter mucky mess. That's Nars Day. More nastiness and then, oh my god, like aliens in here. Then he turned back into himself. The demon took over and you blacked out. And you didn't hurt me. You see, I told you you wouldn't. Her BFF calls her and asks her to come over ASAP. But it's a trick so that she can sneak in and kill our hero. Dork catches up with our heroine, but uh-oh, he got demon hands. BFF comes to kill the hero and he turns demon on her. Well... Very touched, but didn't she tell you? You see, Denny and I are very much in sore. What are you doing with a sword? But as he tries to escape, he sees Demon Dork putting his girl into his car after knocking her out. Both Hero and BFF jump on the car as the real Mangler tries to get away. Long car chase ensues. More cops get involved. But the mangler crashes into a lake. What a dingus. Let's head to the castle and stop the real mangler. Who do you think you are? I'm the mangler. Well, at least it was a fake hand because it looked really crappy. It's locked. Heh, <laughs> cops don't even check if the doors are actually locked. BFF is going to have sex with our hero so he can get his demon on. Jeez. Oh my god, why are his wings so tiny? I don't know why the mangler keeps wanting to light the TNT. Is that some weird kink you have? Hero demon comes to the rescue. But our heroine starts to yell at him for getting busy with her BFF. The demon moron finally lights the dynamite, but our hero grabs it, then chucks it into the lake. Oops, nope. That be the cop's cars. Cops break in. And rooftop chase. Oh, it's like the ending of Beauty and the Beast with the beast and the bad guy on the roof. Yeah. Wait, he's got powers too. Uh oh. Big trouble in little China time. Oh, he's a big demon. They fight and he loses his demonness.
Fixer throws a dagger and tells him to stab the demon in his scar. Jeez, is that a video game sound? Big Demon Chuck's hero who almost falls to his death. But is caught by Fixer. Goo comes out of the demon, then boom! Ghosts? Just another day in the big city. Let's go home, boys and blue. The cops leave. Are you alright? You know what? Our hero gets uncursed, but then turns into ugly 70s prom date? I think maybe I am. Then socks be poppin'. Hero sees his scar is gone and realizes he's uncursed. Scar is gone. Fixer was right. He said if I did something really noble that the curse would jump right out of me and into... Hey, baby. And now Fixer is the horny demon. Now our hero and heroine can go have sex. Yay! Okay, now a video montage for the credits, like we wouldn't remember who the characters were? This movie is 80s cheese, but in a good way. It's campy, but still fun and doesn't bore you. I'll give this film two trash cans because some of the sexy scenes are a bit cringe. Irma Gerd. This film stars. Mel Gibson, Pennywise the Clown, Peggy Bundy, Not Today Satan, Wedding Beetlejuice, and at least his name wasn't Hugh. This film contains classic 80s cheese, awesome sets, some really horny devils, and a whole lot of people waiting for them to stop filming. Y'all are so awesome for sticking till the end. Make sure you sub and comment below what you think we should do next. See you later, honeys.